renowned ballerina Michaela Mabintin de Prince and mother Elaine de Prince die one day apart. Michaela Mabintin de Prince, 29, was a second soloist with Boston Ballet. By Yi Jin Yu. Wednesday, September 18, 2024. Renowned ballet dancer Michaela Mabinti de Prince and her adoptive mother died within one day of each other, their family confirmed to ABC News this week. Michaela de Prince died September 10 at the age of 29 and her mother Elaine de Prince, who adopted her as a young girl, died September 11 during a routine procedure in preparation for a surgery, according to a family statement shared on Facebook. The de Prince family did not immediately share a cause of death for Michaela de Prince. As unbelievable as it may seem, the two deaths were completely unrelated, the family said in part in their statement, which was also shared with ABC News. The only way we can make sense of the senseless is that Elaine, who had already lost three children many years ago, was by the grace of God spared the pain of experiencing the loss of a fourth child. The De Prince family called their back-to-back -back losses, truly unimaginably painful. Grieving two family members who died within a 24-hour period is tragic and devastating, they said. Michaela de Prince was a second soloist with Boston Ballet, which told Good Morning America, the artist, who was part of the company from September 2021 to May 2024, will be greatly missed. It was an absolute honor to have Mabinti in our company for three seasons. Her indelible spirit inspired so many, Boston Ballet artistic director Miko Nissinen said in a statement. Her courage and perseverance will have a lasting impact on the dance community, here in Boston and around the world. Boston Ballet Executive Director Ming Min Wei also praised Michaela de Prince's artistry and her lasting impact, not just in the ballet world, but also outside of it. Mabinti was just as beautiful on the stage as she was off. She was an advocate for what ballet can be, as a much bigger art form and a much bigger source of inspiration and hope for people, Wei said. She was brave in being willing to share not only her artistry but also her story with the world. De Prince was adopted from an orphanage in war-torn Sierra Leone, joining a big family with 10 other siblings in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. She rose to prominence as a young black dancer, graduating from American Ballet Theater's Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School in 2012 and appearing on Dancing with the Stars when she was just 17. She eventually went professional, joining the ranks of the Dance Theater of Harlem, where she made history as the youngest dancer to be featured in principal roles, according to the company. She went on to join the Dutch National Ballet as a soloist before joining Boston Ballet in 2021. She was named to Forbes's 30 Under 30 list in 2020. In addition to dancing, Michaela de Prince served as an ambassador for War Child, a nonprofit in the Netherlands that advocates for children in war-torn countries. Tributes to the The Dancer poured in following her death. Michaela is taken from us far too soon. Our thoughts are with her loved ones and family, the Dutch National Ballet shared in a memoriam tribute to De Prince. American Ballet Theater and the apt Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School also shared a tribute to Michaela De Prince on Instagram, writing, Michaela's extraordinary journey, from her time at the ABT Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School and apt summer intensive to the global stage, inspired countless dancers and touched the hearts of many. Her resilience, grace, and talent left an indelible mark on the dance world. We express our sincere condolences to her family, friends, and all who were touched by her light. Famed apt principal dancer Misty Copeland, meanwhile, shared an excerpt about Michaela de Prince from her book, Black Ballerinas, My Journey to Our Legacy, on Instagram, adding, Michaela had so much more to give, not just to ballet, but to the world. Her legacy will continue to inspire generations of dancers, but her absence leaves a void that will be felt deeply. Michaela de Prince, who survived Sierra Leone's civil war to become a star ballerina, dies at 29. While living in an orphanage in her war-torn country, she dreamed of being happy, powerful, and successful. By Chris Cornelis, September 20th, 2024, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. When Michaela de Prince was living in an orphanage during Sierra Leone's civil war in the late 1990s, death was all around her. Her parents were gone, her uncle had abandoned her, and she witnessed the murder of her teacher. As you come on to the page, kindly hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. And don't forget to put on your notification bell so you can be notified when I drop the next video. Thank you. One day she found a magazine with a ballerina on the cover. It was a revelation. The dancer looked happy, peaceful. Michaela yearned for what the young woman had. Improbably, she got it. Between her early years in Sierra Leone and her sudden death in New York on September 10th, from causes the family says aren't clear, De Prince became a world-class ballerina, 
a member and soloist in companies in Europe and the U.S. She was also seen in a celebrated 2015 documentary about young ballerinas called First Position and appeared in the film version of Beyonce's album Lemonade in 2016. De Prince told the Wall Street Journal in 2016 that she thought it was a joke when she was told that Beyonce wanted her to appear in Lemonade. But when she got to the set, the pop star greeted her and told her it was an honor to have her. In the moments before De Prince is seen improvising a dance solo in the film during the song Freedom, the music falls away and Beyonce sings a line a cappella. Hey, I'ma keep running, cause a winner don't quit on themselves. The mother of late ballet dancer Michaela De Prince died just one day after her famous daughter earlier this month. Family spokesperson Jess Valinsky confirmed in a statement posted to Facebook that Elaine De Prince died during a routine procedure in preparation for a surgery on September 11th at age 77. A former special education teacher, Elaine De Prince raised a total of 11 children with husband Charles De Prince, who died in 2020. In the 1980s, the De Princes adopted three sons with hemophilia, all of whom later contracted HIV and died in the 1990s. As previously reported, Michaela De Prince died September 10th at age 29. According to Belinsky, Elaine De Prince was unaware of her daughter's death when she was admitted to the hospital for surgery. As unbelievable as it may seem, the two deaths were completely unrelated, the statement read. The only way we can make sense of the senseless is that Elaine, who had already lost three children many years ago, was by the grace of God spared the pain of experiencing the loss of a fourth child. The statement went on to note, what the family is going through right now is truly unimaginably painful. Grieving two family members who died within a 24-hour period is tragic and devastating. Elaine de Prince is survived by five daughters, Mia, Billy, Jay, Mariel and Amy, and two sons, Eric and Adam. As of Tuesday, no further details on Michaela de Prince's cause of death had been made public. Both the star dancer and her sister, Mia, were from Sierra Leone and were adopted by the De Princes in 1999, according to the New York Times. The family first resided in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, before relocating to Vermont. Michaela De Prince went on to attend the American Ballet Theater's Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School on a scholarship and, after graduating, became the youngest dancer to perform principal roles when she joined the Dance Theater of Harlem in 2012. Here, she began performing with the Dutch National Ballet and returned to the U.S. in 2022 as a Boston Ballet soloist. Her inimitable talents and unusual life story also brought her mainstream fame beyond the ballet world. At age 17, she appeared on Dancing with the Stars and later worked with Beyoncé on the visual album for Lemonade. In 2018, it was reported that Madonna had secured the movie rights to De Prince's autobiography, Taking Flight, from War Orphan to Star Ballerina. The status of that film is unknown. De Prince, 29, died September 10. No cause of death has been released. One day later, her adoptive mother died. During a routine procedure in preparation for a surgery, a family spokesperson said, Elaine De Prince was 77. In her memoir, Taking Flight, From War Orphan to Star Ballerina, she shared her journey from the orphanage to the stage. She also wrote a children's book, Ballerina Dreams. De Prince suffered from a skin pigmentation disorder that had her labeled, the devil's child, at the orphanage. I lost both my parents, so I was there at the orphanage for about a year and I wasn't treated very well because I had vitiligo, De Prince told the AP in a 2012 interview. We were ranked as numbers and number 27 was the least favorite and that was my number, so I got the least amount of food, the least amount of clothes and whatnot. She told added that a photo of an American ballet dancer on a magazine page that had blown against the gate of the orphanage all I remember is she looked really, really happy, De Prince told the AP, adding that she wished to become this exact person. She said she saw hope in that photo, and I ripped the page out and I stuck it in my underwear because I didn't have any place to put it, she said. Her passion helped inspire young black dancers to pursue their dreams, her family said. We will miss her and her gorgeous smile forever and we know you will, too, their statement said. Her sister Mia Mabinti de Prince recalled in the statement that they slept on a shared mat in the orphanage and used to make up their own musical theater plays and ballets. When we got adopted, our parents quickly poured into our dreams and arose the beautiful, gracefully strong ballerina that so many of you knew her as today. She was an inspiration, Mia de Prince wrote. Whether she was leaping across the stage or getting on a plane and flying to third world countries to provide orphans and children with dance classes, she was determined to conquer all her dreams in the arts and dance. She is survived by five sisters and two brothers. 
The family requested that in lieu of flowers, donations could be made to War Child, which is an organization that DePrince was involved with as a War Child ambassador. As you leave the page, don't forget to hit the like bell and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.